Ayan Dia Kabe. I am pursuing my electronics and communication uh, technical course in KLA IT. And here uh, we are going to build a AI ML training model which is based on movie recommendation system. So the movie recommendation system which we have built here is based on three aspects. One, uh, the recommendation is given through the similar movie of your choice by the user input. And the second, by specifying the genre of your choice and third, by uh, specifying the language of your choice. Let us look at this block diagram and understand briefly about the process of AIML model. First, plot takes the data. First, we have to extract a raw text data, uh, then next, text processing. Example, tokenization and stock words. Tokenizations mean uh, similar, uh, similar words are grouped together and identified in a document. Stock words are identified such as and, is, the, which are the stock words which are not very much useful to define a movie. Next, vectorization. For the machine learning, the computer cannot understand uh, the text as we do. So we have to uh, give the input in a form which the machine could grasp the information. So first we vectorize the uh, text, uh, text which are uh, we go going to give the input which is then converted into the form which the machine uh, will understand. That is converting them into the vector form. Next. Document term matrix or sparse matrix we can create. This matrix uh, is a group of similar uh, 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 unique keys which are uh, token, uh, tokenized in the second step. It, uh, these are grouped into a matrix so that the data can be extracted easily and understand and analyzed by this uh, machine. Next one, we create a machine learning model by inputting a lot of data the machine learning model, uh, it, it is trained to recognize a pattern and analyze it which we can predict the output and uh, desire the prediction and the output which we will get from training. Let us see the code now. Yes, first of all we have to imp uh, import libraries. NumPy, it is used for array operations and mathematical functions. Pandas. Data frames, data manipulation. TensorFlow, it is very important for machine learning and AIML projects because uh, the main component of machine learning is based on deep learning. From TensorFlow, we can also import Keras which is help, uh, helpful in training and building a model. Matplotlib, which is plotting versatile uh, plots and graphs. From Google Colab, from our drive, I have uh, extracted the data, the data name is movies as we are uh, uh, recommending the movies. Movies.dead uh, head is a pandas function uh, which shows the title of the movie, genre and etc which are the columns are there. These are specified uh, only the top 4 or 5 movies because we have given uh, movies.head. If we give the input as movies.tail, then it shows the last uh, five movies. Next. We are just executing only movies which here, all the movies and its genre and uh, what language it is in, it's all specified here. Next, movies.columns. The columns which are uh, specified and extracted, they are uh, given in here. Movies.info This is very important because uh, we can identify the null and non-null uh, object in the uh, columns or rows present in the movies data sheet. Now, in the above set, we have the columns ID, title, genre, original language and all those things. Now what we are doing here is merging two columns that is genre and overview. We have uh, merging these columns and giving it as a name tag because it improves model performance and data preparation. Next we are going to sort the uh, 
uh, movies data sheet in in the form of popularity from descending to uh, ascending to descending order next year the only the tag column is uh, show next movies dot head which is uh, the ascending order of uh, popularity next we are importing cbar cbar is a very useful function useful library in uh, python uh, which uh, gives statistical plots and uh, very much uh, useful for integration with pandas and data frames we also import matplotlib to plot bar graphs and other graph too here we are plotting bar graph popularity versus the movies we have chosen here only five movies so that we can easily analyze understand with this bar graph we can also uh, plot many movies or or all the movies but for our easy understanding uh, this five bar graph show next again we have plotted a line plot which shows popularity vote count and vote average movie heat uh, this is the variable i have chosen to plot heat map heat map is a correlation matrix of a movie data frame which is of popularity vote count and again vote average again we have plotted a pair plot it shows the relationship between pair of uh, variables uh, of each other in the data sheet here we have hist plot you can press enlarge it and analyze it again i have plotted popularity vote count and vote average now we'll start uh, converting the text data into the vector form which the machine can understand it easily first we'll uh, name a variable new df which is a data frame which has columns id title genre overview and tags we are dropping genre and overview because tags is already a uh mixer a mixture of genre and overview so the tags uh, column is only enough we'll only uh, use id title and tags for uh, our first aspect from here we convert raw data into suitable form of model training here again we convert the text data in the form of matrix which are of uh, token components cv is equal to count vectorizer this vectorizer converts the collection of text document to a matrix of uh, token counts converting a sparse matrix into a dense numpy array here we use fit and transform the fit finds the unique words all across the documents and transform helps the converts the text into the matrix the uh, values dot uh, uh, type bracket you uh, this is useful to uh, specify uh, ascii values to each uh, uh, each alphabets or each words uh, and uh, uh, separate the commas or uh, stop words in english here we get the matrix which we have desired so that the machine can understand it clearly next from sql learn uh, matrices pair wise we import cosine similarity cosine similarity is a function we use to uh, compare uh, two vectors uh, if they are similar or not we compare these two vectors with the help of cosine similarity and we have done this a lot in our mathematics you can remember the Uh, cos cos uh, similarity formula is a dot b by magnitude of a into magnitude of b which gives us 
the cosine similarity where uh, we are using it here to find the similarity between uh, two indexes. This uh, cosine similarity works as if the two vectors are, uh, are in the 90 degrees then it is orthogonal. Orthogonal means it is not similar. When uh, it is 0 degree, it is very similar. That means it, it is a uh, the both vectors are same. Here the similarity matrix is executed. Next we have sorted list. This sorts a uh, list of tuples, uh, tuples in a descending order based on similarity scores. Converts the list of similarity scores for movie two movies into a list of tables. Again, that two movies are compared with the third movie, and it uh, goes on till we get a, a complete matrix. Next, we take op from operator we import index. This is used to assign the result to variable of uh, inspection. run this code and you can see uh, this is our first aspect of recommendation here when the user input is looking for a movie but he doesn't know any movie name but he has a, a similar movie uh, name which uh, from which we can search so I'll just search for Captain America And the similar kind of movies for Captain America can be found. Let's run from the beginning. It is showing no movie is found similar to Domino because we should have the same kind of movie in the data sheet stored here. If it is not stored here, we cannot find the movies. Next we have another data frame which consists of ID, title and genre column. Yes, we have taken general because from this we are going to recommend a movie. When a user input uh, the uh, specified or uh, their choice of genre, we will uh, uh, give them 5 recommendations of movie titles. Again, same we will use account vectorizer to create a matrix which the machine can understand. Next again, yes, cosine similarity. The process remains the same, but only the keyword uh, such as genre, uh, popularity, these keywords uh, may change. We'll find the movie using this. We have five recommendations. You can see here with the help of genre, we have five recommendations of movie list which are of same theme. Next, again, we will uh, repeat the process to get same uh, the original language of the movie which are specified. We can uh, get the recommendations through that. Same again, we have sorted it now. I will insert the language. Here means English. We can get five English recommended movies. This model can be very much helpful in uh, web series uh, platforms such as Netflix, 
prime video etc so it is a similar kind of model more modified are used in such uh, platforms thank you